What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will with the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And uh, this, if you haven't seen this, I don't think I've ever showed this on my page yet. And, uh, if you, A lot of you have probably seen this if you're watching my video. This is a structure on uh, the asteroid Eros, E-R-O-S, uh, which I think was a Greek god, something along those lines. But uh, to me, it looks exactly like what something a mining rig would look like or a mining shaft, something on this asteroid. It looks like it was uh, at one point uh, mined by an extraterrestrial civilization, possibly even one from Earth or uh, one from Mars. You know, who knows where this came from or who uh, would have mined it. But I'm going to be making the case for this over the next couple videos. I'm going to have like a little video series here, just like I do the Mars, the Moon, and stuff like that. Um, the near spacecraft went and got pictures of this, and it really brought back some amazing pictures. And they're kind of low resolution, but I've, uh, like I said, we've got some pretty high tech equipment that we work with here, so I can pretty much pull out some nice stuff. And uh, this right here, just starting off, this was the main anomaly that everybody saw. A lot of people say this is just a random rectangle, and we're going to go look at what NASA, here's where I get it from. This is PIA 02905, the view from low orbit. All right, the image of Eros taken from the near Shoemaker spacecraft on May 1st, 2000, is among the first to be returned from the low orbit. Okay, basically, if you go to the, the actual home page here, and uh, you can look through some of the, the, the like the actual pictures that are out there, going to blow your mind. Um, I think some of this is. This little building here is nothing compared to some of the stuff that seems to be kind of just hidden in the dark uh, areas of these pictures. So you're really going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun with it because like, I've been doing Mars and, and the moon a lot. And I'm going to keep doing those, but I need a little bit of something else to do. And uh, people keep telling me about Saturn. I'm getting all these ideas about Saturn and then uh, just doing research. And I'm getting ideas from everybody. Uh, there's a lot of people talking about it. Um, what it actually is. Uh, I read the book, The uh, Ring Makers of Saturn, which was pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so here, like I said, let me tell you about, this is what everybody wants to scale, this is why I came over here too, not just to show you where it is, because if you go down, I'll link it in the description where the thing is, but uh, the imager will take pictures of the entire surface, okay, this features, where we are, this is about one mile, is what we see here, okay, this scene is about 1.8 kilometers and 1.1 miles across, and it says the large rectangular boulder at the upper right is 45 meters, so 148 feet across, perfect for what a, uh, here, here's actually, it right here. Here's the asteroid itself. Very strange looking thing. Um, let's see if we can't go back here to the Photoshop. Take a quick look at that right here. Let me see if we can get this up here. Alright. View. I want to do something. I want to bring out my old workspace here. Let's see if we can't I might get my wonderful Apple mark. Usually I don't get this. I got a lot of stuff coming up over here. I was watching Hulu. Here we go. And this is, like I said, these are kind of very low res when they came up. So I just want to do some of the adjustments here with the brightness and the contrast. Just to see how perfectly rectangular it is. I mean, it's it's pretty well on. I'm just going to bring the contrast up. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and zoom on in here. Now I got it up just a tad along with the brightness. I mean, they're, it's, like I said, this is pretty pretty well. It looks like these two buildings were either two buildings are side by side or one building that has a, a perfect match down in. And how, what are the odds of it being, you know, that line being straight down the middle of it? And then another shaft about the same exact size of one of those buildings popping out the side. Um, like I said, it looks like a mining shaft. I'm not going to keep this one too long, but... Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, you guys had, most likely you guys have seen this before. And like I said, this is a very small picture here of it. And uh, wait till we get along with some of these other pictures. They're pretty cool. And let me show you where I've actually got these at. Here's the one. And then here are the uh, other images that we're going to be taking a look at some of these. So for future ones. All right, guys. Much love. What's up in the sky? 37. Hit me up. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Have you guys uh, ever looked at these asteroids? I thought a lot about mining them in the past and thinking, I just think, how would we do it? And uh, obviously, if there's a civilization out there that's already done it, um, yeah, the moon looks to be mined uh, 100%. Um, I mean, that's the structures we found there. If you go check out my videos, it looks like they've been mining. It looks like they found mining places on Mars. So it looks like we, anywhere we've gone and looked, we, we pretty, pretty much found some stuff um, on at least rocky planets. And I, that's why I'm not surprised that it's there. And this actually looks like the monolith on Phobos. Um, you know, so if you know anything about Phobos, one of the moons of Mars, they... Uh, 
basically there's a if you guys actually you know what phobos on go to my page type for phobos search it or search phobos what's up in the sky 37 you'll find it i did a pretty good video on it but much love guys take it easy hope you had a wonderful day weekends are coming much love peace